All right. Hello, my name is Ashton Posey with the University of Minnesota Twin Cities and the Minnesota Space Grant Consortium. I'm here to talk about the investigation of position accuracy of the NEO M9 GPS on the pterodactyl as a function of its polling rate. So here's an abstract and then here's a quick overview. The pterodactyl currently uses the NEO M9 GPS in the NEBP kits as all the teams have received. And from my investigations, I have found that from 1 to 9.9 hertz, the NEO M9N GPS can see up to 32 different satellites. And from 10 to 25 hertz, it can see only up to 16. And the assumption with this is that you would assume that it could have a <clears throat> greater positional accuracy from 1 to 9.9 .9 hertz since it has many more satellites in view. This would create a um, better triangulation of position, but from our findings, it seems that the frequency is the only variable that really matters in terms of positional accuracy. And then I'll get into that with these charts. So here we can see a static test on the ground. We haven't had a chance to test this in a balloon flight as our January flight got canceled, but we will be practicing this or testing it soon. So on the left, you can see 25 hertz. The GPS got only up to 16 throughout the whole test. This ran for about 16,000 seconds. And then in at 8 hertz, which seemed to be the sweet spot for, for positional accuracy, it got up to, um, I think, 29, almost 30 hertz, or 30 satellites in view. And this ran for around 30,000 seconds. And from the greater... Um, triangulation of position, the PDOP value, which is the triangulation value, is actually lower in the 8 hertz version, which is what you would expect since it has more satellites that it can view. Um, with more triangulation, you'd assume that this corresponds to greater positional accuracy. And to, before I go on to the next one, you can see how 25 hertz seems a lot more sporadic and 8 hertz seems a lot more linear than the 25 hertz and then moving into positional accuracy the results are actually switched so the 25 hertz seems to have a greater static horizontal accuracy versus the 8 hertz which has a i guess by greater i mean less in value the units on the left are millimeters and the positional accuracy of 25 hertz seems to be around 1000 millimeters in the beginning and then it drops down to 500 millimeters towards a the later portion of the test, whereas the 8 hertz test jumps around around 1,500 to 2,000 millimeters in accuracy for the beginning of the test, and then it slowly dips down to around 1,000 millimeters, which is promising to see, but unfortunately in a balloon flight, you'd probably be launching around an hour into the test so you'd be in this area while you're launching. We don't really have um, a couple hours to let this thing sit and get ready. And then here is vertical accuracy. As you can see, the same numbers were found. Um, these values are found from a function in the GPS code, which I will show in a second. But um, yes, these values correspond to the um, greater accuracy with a increased frequency of updating with the GPS. And then as the final note, we just have the code showing the current update for the GPS and the important function, which is this GPS horizontal and vertical accuracy. Okay, thank you, Ashton.